now I'm I'm changing out the handbrake because the one that's in here doesn't have the the locking mechanism on it. It's just kind of bare like that. So I have one that I grabbed out of the coupe and I'm gonna put that in here. So to get this handbrake out, you have a, a bolt here, right here, and then there are, once you take out that little bracket, there are two 10 millimeters under that. These two are bolt holes. And then there's two little pegs that I'll show you when we get there. All right, now we're underneath the car. There's a transmission. So this obviously isn't gonna be really doable if you have the drive shaft in here. Let's see if I get you your angle. But, where are we at? Okay, right here, this is where it comes to the floor. And then this is where we have to separate it from the rear. So basically you just twist these things. All right, I'm gonna set the camera down, but we basically just twist it out and then there you can see a, you can see a little roof and you're gonna take the wire out that little groove and pull upwards and then that little thing will pop out of there. All right, now after wrestling with it for about five minutes, you can see I got the little things out of there and I already pushed it up through this hole. Now I'm gonna go up top, pull the handbrake out and put the new one in. All right, here's the new handbrake. You can see it has the boot and the locking mechanism. So I can actually like lock it and hold my car in place. This one, I'm gonna list it up for sale because it's no longer needed, but it still works and everything. Had to go for drifting. But this is a street car and I want to work in handbrake. Now obviously I can't show you putting trim pieces back on because I don't have carpet or anything yet. But put the trim pieces back in. Uh, you have a wire that goes on this right here that tells you if your handbrake is up or not. And I have a nut that goes on here that I'm missing but should hopefully be on yours. I think it's a little 10 millimeter. I'm just going to seal off the other one, throw it on here, and then I'll have a working handbrake. Alright, so there's a little, a little hole right there. So I'm just gonna take this nut, put it inside there, and then there's this little that table, just follow that up, and then there's a thread on the end that you're gonna screw it onto. Alright, now everything's tightened down. All you have to do to tighten or loosen the handbrake is tighten or loosen that nut, and I can see it lots, and that'll keep your wheels from turning and keep your car from moving. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If not, leave me some feedback and that's pretty much it. We're still waiting on a few parts for the K. I still have to lower it down because it's a little bit high. I think the hood's going to hit on it if I leave it how it is. I need bolts for the transmission mount. Intake manifold, I'm still working on that. But it's I've got everything I need. And I'm waiting on an interior harness. That should be here tomorrow. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Peace.